Hey guys, I'm back. Um, going to do a bit of a review, tin opening kind of thing. Um, I wasn't sure what to do. Um, I was going through what I had in my cellar. Thought I'd open something new. I was going to open this because it's actually cracked, so to speak. Um, as you can see, it's a beautiful looking plug tobacco. Three, it's Peterson's three P's. Never had it. Um, but then I can't quite bring myself to, to undo it. It's, the block is almost too 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 beautiful. Um, can't do anything. So you're not getting three P's today, but you might do soon. Um, there's also the whole prep side of things that you know I'm sure you want to sit through 10 minutes of video where I'm just, just um, chopping it up prepping it so on so forth um, okay so first of all we've got a cup of tea uh, why not I'll be smoking in a Peterson's uh, volcano I suppose. Um, big old, big old bowl. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I mean, some fits nice and easy inside the, the top of there. And it's, oh, a good two and a half, two and a half inches deep, a rough guess. Um, so yeah, I'll waffle, as always. And I'm sure you're used to that by now. Tobacco. I've had this. Uh, it was sent to me a while ago by a mate in the states, and he, on all his tobaccos, is actually labelled when he bought it. Um, and this one he bought in Americans do months and days reverse to us, so it would have been the first of March, two thousand and ten. It's actually got a tinning date or a blending date on it, which is July two thousand and nine. So Four years, four years age. Um, I have actually just popped it to, to save me fiddling too much. But you're dying to see what it is. The Baron's Club blend. There you go. If I do that, you don't even have to look at my face. Um, it's, it's been sat there. It's aged a little bit. I just thought, why not? Let's try something interesting. So. Um, it comes in 100 grams, three and a half ounce tin. I'll crack it open. And, oh, a real aroma when you first open it. So that's. Let me see. There's a few. Few. Says it's a roll cake, which is a style of tobacco I I enjoy. I really like um. Is it all its balls I flake? I say I really like uh, roll cake. That's the only roll cake I've had, but um, this is very different. It's a lot rougher than the, the bullseye, um, uh, which seems as though it's you know very very fine. This as you can see these. Um, I'm an expert, so I'm not going to try and tell you what different tobaccos are in it, and you know there's a variation in sort of percentage. Differences in each each roll. I mean, it's packed. If I can really like how it comes, actually. Um, I'll spill it all over the place. Oh, there we go. Throwing it on the floor. On my laptop, should I say? Um, yeah, I'm trying out my new laptop to see if the camera's any good for doing this with, and if I'm any good with editing it, which I probably won't do anyway. So, I'm gonna prep up a little bit, not too much. Um, uh, let's go with that and see how we go. So, rolling it out for you. Um, I suppose now would be a good time when I'm prepping up to tell you about a little contest I might go in. Well, I'm not, not might, I am holding. Um, it's going to be for a pouch of some Bruno's Ready Rubbed. Possibly um, two, well, one and one that's had perhaps. Two bowlfuls out of it. It's a nice tobacco, but um, 
it's so easily available to me that I don't need the five vouchers that someone fed for me. Uh, kindly. Well, actually, they bought it for themselves thinking it was rolling tobacco um, when they were on holiday. <laughs> so, uh, they gave it to me, but uh, I think people would benefit much more from it. Um, open to everyone worldwide. Um, so, perhaps this may be of more interest to guys in the States. Um, so, yeah. Uh, what I'm going to do, I don't know. I shall perhaps make, think of it while I'm getting my pipe loaded up. Um, rolls out lovely, in fact. Rubs out lovely, should I say. Hopefully, you can see that. Um, what? I mean, there's so many competitions. I've just started subscribing to more people, to be honest. Um, I've been listening to or subscribe to the same few for quite a long time but I've never really subscribed to anyone new so um, I've been doing that this, this evening um, as the weather is on the turn here in the UK so it's quite nice to um, sit in and, and watch new people on YouTube not necessarily new people on YouTube but new people to me on YouTube um, and we've got um, Jonathan Wants, who I really like his style of presenting. Um, excuse me if I can't remember the name. Stark Shadow, Silver Shadow, Shadow Blue Shadow, Swift Shadow. Oh, I've just watched loads of videos, but I can't actually remember his name. I haven't written them down. I just just thought I'd come up and have a quick mention to these guys. Um, the, the diabetic man and excuse me. Um, Jamie, Jamie Oliver, Jamie Oliver, uh, who's from what I've worked out had videos before, uh, on his channel and he's got a new one. Uh, so hi to all you if, uh, if you do watch this. Um, so yes, draw the droids, we're seven minutes in and I haven't even lit a pipe yet. So this is here not because I'm some cool, hip gangster youth, but I always put pipe cleaners down and then can never find them all over the place, just easier while I'm sat with you lot. Um, so, let us, tin of is very fruity, um, slightly musty actually, uh, quite like it. Hmm, reminds me of something I've had before, perhaps Sherlock Holmes, Peter's and Sherlock Holmes. Um, so we shall see what we can do and um, give this a little quick taste. It's just going to be an initial taste, it's not a full review. Well, I probably said earlier it was. Fruity initial initial taste. I like it. Definitely like it. Excuse me. Um, forgotten how much I enjoyed the, the pea lip. Um, it's really nice. It's a very smooth smoke. Um, not heavy on flavour. Please bear in mind I'm no expert reviewer. I like what I like. Um, I can't... <coughs> excuse me. As far as I'm aware, I pick up nuances of different tobaccos, you know, your Virginias, your Candishes, your Burleys. Because I've never had anyone say, well, this here is a Burley tobacco. This here is a whatever, and sat and sampled the three, four, five, whatever. Obviously, I can I can uh, pick up Latakia, which I do enjoy. Um, I 
So, I want to change this. Um, Cabbage from Virginia goes blend with this and that, and um, I'm afraid that means nothing when I read it in. Uh, I see something like, as it might say here, um, it says natural tobacco taste is the closest you'll get. Um, only a little top flavour added. That sort of thing makes sense to me. Well, it's staying lit well. Um, while I'm here, I shall show you my little purchase. Little pipe tool. Um, I picked up for a pound, which is half a dollar. I'm guessing at today's exchange rates or whatever. Uh, from a little charity uh, junk shop sort of thing. So, pleased with that. I haven't had a check tool or a pipe tool I've been using in there for the last six months. Of course, having said that it's staying alive very well, it's just gone out, but um, I'm expecting nothing less. So, um, mm. very smooth, very, very smooth. Um, the talk on YouTube, of course, is um, Glyn GQ Tobaccos. Met Glyn twice, once, twice. Um, really nice guy, genuine, hard working. He's just had a baby. Congratulations, Glyn. I imagine I shall be purchasing a few from him when I uh, actually have some money, like everyone. Please support him if you UK. Yeah, he's, he's a prominent member of our, our community, or he has been, I know he's been obviously busy with babies and and business, so to speak, <coughs> recently. Um, So, uh, contest, contest, yes, yes, focus, um, get a pipe and maybe it's a natural thing when you have a pipe, you just start rambling on, or maybe it's just me, other people I'm sure become very philosophically intelligent, but uh, not myself. And that's gonna, not going to stay light, of course, um, but uh, yes, excuse the stem. Um, terribly oxidised and I don't have anything to, to clean it up or, or anything like that unfortunately I'm at a loss with that I'm gonna to have to go to this um sorry excuse me um hmm. as uh Glenn's business is the um Conversation. Um, he's obviously had some tobaccos he's produced and, and people have suggested names for. If you were to blend your dream dream tobacco, um, you know whether it already exists. If maybe there's say Peterson's shock Holmes, for example, or Express Mind, just out of the blue, um, is your dream tobacco. But you were to name yourself. Um, or you were to blend your own, say, a mix of others or whatever, whatever it may be, what would you call it? You know, something that perhaps would mean something to you for one reason or another. What would you call it? And why? What do you call it and why? Your dream, your perfect tobacco, the white tobacco that you be smoking for your life. Doesn't matter if you're already listening to another name, rename it. Um, Video response, like I say, I, found, I didn't realise that video responses had been cancelled, taken off, removed, whatever it is. Um, yep, do a video, send me a PM or, or, or what have you, and I shall, um, I shall review them. You've got until, until, where are we now? Uh, let's go with the 7th of November. Got until the 7th of November, open to all, UK as well. 
Um, please don't think I'm just opening it to the overseas who can't get to Bruno. It's to everyone. Um, just I imagine the US guys and so on will be more interested in, in the competition. So please, please feel free to enter. Video response, let me know you've done it. And then, I'm undecided. I'll either pick them at random or I will go with whatever video tickles me most and uh, or or perhaps most meaningful. Um, I may, I, you know, I make a fair assessment. So please, please, and uh, keep puffing while I seem unable to. Um, today. And um, good to be back. I'm hoping shots of some sort of flavour there. Um, Gone again, but that was lovely. I thought that was. Um, I digress always. So, take care, guys, and happy buffing as always. And I'm sure I will speak to you all. Not speak to you, just upload more videos, whatever you want to call it, soon. So, please feel free. Um, if I can find the guys that I've subscribed to over the last couple of hours, I will put links to them either down here somewhere or, or in the um, description box. There's some, some great guys. I shall um, look forward to seeing these uh, competition entries. Goodbye for now.